Josh, uh, going on with uh, everything that's happened in the past week, you're pretty confident that Cleveland's just going to rebound from this and uh, get ready for the Browns coming up. Well, uh, this is a sports town, it's Browns town, uh, especially with football season coming up. I mean, I know a lot of fans are looking forward to the football season to get over everything that happened, you know, and uh, this is a Believe Land city, you know, they take, they take, you know, very seriously their sports team, and I think we can get over it. Now, what would you say your expectations are training camp starting soon? Like, you know, a lot of people are expecting big things, especially after what's transpired here uh, lately. You, uh, what are your expectations going into the season? I have high expectations. You know, I expect nothing but the best from, you know, our team. And, you know, um, we had a good, you know, uh, end of the season last year. We're going to capitalize on that. And hopefully we can pull, pull together and string together a lot of wins that will get us in the postseason. How's it feel to do basically in sports? You know what, um, it just lets me know I'm on, I'm on the right path and that I'm setting the right example for you know, other athletes that come through Cleveland and, uh, you know, and the kids. You know, but most of all, it's, it's, it's all the fans that, you know, that, that drive me and motivate me to play. What are some things the old regime compared to the new one with Holmgren? Some things that are different or similar between the two, uh, two regimes? Um, you know what? Right now, you, you can't tell the difference until you know you can see the wins and loss columns, and that's what I say. That's how I say you can measure an organization, you know, because that's what it all boils down to the wins and losses. So the only time can tell. Hello. What type of role do you see you have to have, like big wise in the offense this season? Um, you know, every time I'm out there, you know, defense is going to try to call out my number and say, hey, watch out, 16 is on the field. You know, I'm going to be a decoy as well as a, a, a threat, you know, two defenses, you know, um, with the Wildcat. Teams will have more to prepare for each week against us. Uh, with the addition of Seneca Wallace, uh, again, more diversity for our, our offense and, you know, all of the world. Now, joining you in the receiving court now is Bobby Ingram, 14 year veteran. How do you think he's going to help? solidify the uh, uh, the receivers. You know what, um, even with the addition of Jake DeLong, you know, we're bringing veterans around here, you know, to strengthen up the core. You know, we have a lot of great young, talented rookies that's coming in. One bit, one mentioned in uh, Hardesty, you know, and when those guys, you know, are surrounded by veterans, you know, they, they will incre increase their talent level. So that's the purpose of bringing in all these veteran players, you know, to get this team, you know, right.